Matthew 25, 44 to 45. They will also answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? He will reply, truly, I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. In the first nine days together, we've looked at verses where we're encouraged to love and serve others and we're told of the benefits to others and benefits to us. In the last two days and today, the verses speak more of our tendency to selfishness. We can withhold good in the face of need. We can look to our own interests. And in today's verses, we can ignore those in need around us. These verses are part of the parable that Jesus told his disciples, the parable of the sheep and the goats. We already know that our salvation comes from faith in Christ alone. But we're also taught that if we are saved by Christ, we will bear fruit. If God is working in our life, if we are letting him work in us, we will be like him. And when we're like him and we help the hungry, the thirsty, the stranger, those in need of clothes or sick or in prison, we're doing that for him. We should treat the least in our society as if they were as precious to us as Christ. And if we don't, we aren't being like Christ. If we lived at the time of Jesus' time on earth, it might have been easy for us to miss him. Where was he? He was with those in need. He was with the sick. He was with the stranger. He was with those people considered the least, the outcasts, the sick, those stuck in poverty and prostitution. And where are we? I know that I can focus on my bubble, my family, my extended family, my work, my friends and my free time. And it can be easy not to walk in the places that Jesus walked. I know some of you already walk daily in the places that Jesus would. But my prayer for myself and for us today is, Lord, are we walking in the sort of places that Jesus did? Lord, are we meeting those in need, those that society sees as the least? Lord, are we asking you for your next task for us? And what would you have us do today? Who would you have us help? In this new year, is God laying on our hearts a new place to be, a new community, a new volunteering opportunity, a new friendship, a new relationship with neighbours that would enable us to have our eyes more open to see those in need around us? In my experience, if we pray, here I am, God, send me, he takes us seriously. And if we ask him this morning to drop into our heart, where do you want me to be? He will answer and he will provide the time, resources and miracles needed. These verses aren't a call to feel more guilty. They're a call to ask God, where are you leading me? Where can I serve you?